Hey guys, JJ here, and I am back with Resident in Evil 2, Leon, Scenario B, Part 1. Claire Redfield succeeded Let's enjoy this story here real quick. Along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. All right. Uh, so as I was saying, this is the HD mod. That's what it's called. It just uh, basically cleans up textures, menus, items. And then I'm playing with the Dolphin emulator. I have it. Uh, the model's cranked up to 4K. Uh, the Dolphin emulator is basically the GameCube 4 computer. Um, and the I got the widescreen hack on. I know that bothers some people because it stretches it too much. Um, but I like having the full screen, so some things may be off a little bit, but I'll leave all the links so you guys can Download this for yourself. Um, the HD mod that is you'll have to find the emulator and ROMs yourself But uh, HD mod and a tutorial on how to set it up down below in the description after the stream to everybody stopping in Thank you guys very much um, I'm continuing my journey through Resident Evil 2 my favorite game of all time I'm super pumped for the Resident Evil 2 remake and that's just all I can think about so we're gonna we're gonna run it until uh, Until it's over and then probably play some more so, how's it going, everybody? Thank you. Maniac. Why'd he bite me? Why'd he bite me? Alright, I'm just gonna be quiet for the cutscene here. I just wanna explain what this HD mod was for those that are just jumping in. Cheers, everybody. Man, what a mess. What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? Zombies. All right, that's far enough. Don't move. Don't move. No! I'm just being quiet for the cutscene, if you guys are wondering. Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Oh God, Leon's a terrible driver. Don't do it, Claire. It's a mistake. Don't you get in that damn car with him. Oh, it's too late. I tried to help her. <laughs> it's everybody, it's everybody stopping and thank you guys so much. Whitey boy, me. Kanji, you got a sponsor in the house. How's it going, man? You're a cop, right? I'm drinking. Yeah. It's because we uh, think job. like Empower. Great uh, minds think alike. Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Dude, why are you doing 90 around the corner, man? You're just asking for trouble. Like, it's not your fault the semi's coming. But... Hey. Safety! You You're a police officer. Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Get ah! Hey, it's Zombie Leon. Hey guys. You okay. Still in one piece. <laughs> Thankfully. Hey, that maniac's gonna win. Maniac. Look at who's, who's calling people mania. Hitting corners at 90. Leon's my favorite Resident Evil character of all time. This is where he started. This is where he would, became my favorite character. I even did the stupid hair like him back in the 90s. I think I was in fifth grade. Alright guys, this is Leon B, part one. So I have not, honestly, I have not played Part B in a long time. Um, I play a lot of A. I have not played B in a while, so a lot of this actually might be newer to me. Whoa! DeLorean! Let's get the hell out of here. 
shit. So I won't be able to just kind of cruise through this. Sort of like I do with the scenario A, even though I don't really cruise through that either. Um, but like I said, like this is, there's going to be some surprises here. I'm not going to know the best path every time. I might not know where something is. And that's why I like to take breaks in between playing. Uh, because then it's all new to me again. I think I played parts of this maybe last year though. Give me that key. It's really cool too how you get to enter in through the RPD through the back here. <laughs> the zombies are squirrely. They sneak up on you. I almost ran right into that one. Hey, yeah, why not bite me? Whew. All right, we're in. It's not stupid hair, and <laughs> it's not, you know it's not. I say stupid hair, but it was cool. It's still cool. DiCaprio rocked it in Titanic, and that's kind of where they got the idea. What the? was that gate just broke they're flooding in right now <laughs> hey ocean how's it going kaiser's in hey if you guys can see sponsors um you guys have new uh fancy loyalty badges so if you're a sponsor and you've been a sponsor for one month two month three month there's all different um badges you have access to there's bronze silver gold platinum diamond and uh jet and um they're actually uh, had those done by the our uh, fantastic artist day player who does our emojis. So now you can actually decipher like how long you've been a sponsor of the channel. I, I like them. They're really cool. Kind of kills the quality for how small it is, but still looks awesome. All right, cutscene. so much man new sponsor Stuart Piercy this guy's a fucking idiot <laughs> spray and pray baby if I'm going down they're all going down damn that's awesome Stuart so you get access to all the custom emojis now yeah for an extended stay huh stranger excellent excellent all right so we just watched that guy flub <laughs> pretty hard Shit. Yeah, I was just like, oh, the handle's down there. I'm going to go back and get it. But I just remembered it's not. It's all switched around. I like that. I like that. And, you know, um, they just have, uh, I just seen they have the uh, randomizer uh, randomizer enemy mod for Resident Evil 1. Once I finish up 2, I'm probably going to go through and do some random enemies. I like, I like being uh, surprised. Oh, hey. How's it going, guys? Uh, it's going to... Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh son of a bitch! They're, they're re wrecking my hair! Gotta get the fuck out of here. Unlock it! Oh, that was a close one. That was too close. I was almost a Leon sandwich. Hey Bowie, uh, I'm happy to sponsor you dude. You're usually live streaming when I start work, at least uh, UK time. So I actually get to watch live content for once, and it's based on... Uh, so fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright, man, that's cool. Glad to get to catch this one. Thank you for that again. Run, JJ. I'm making my way. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Yeah, let's go this way. Got lots of herbs already. That's good. We gotta stock up. I know Mr. X is in this playthrough. But it was a nemesis before the nemesis. Heart attacks for days... I don't think I'm going to be able to handle this on stream. Oh, yeah, I'm not wearing my row hat either because somebody's like, I thought you were bald. I was like, no, I'm not fucking bald. It's like, you always wear a hat. I thought you were bald. No, so I'm not wearing my hat. That was just to rep the row. <laughs> All right. My YouTube might uh, get deleted because someone stole my logo. That's not cool, dude. Sorry to hear that. All right, this place is infested. My hat just fell. Holy shit. I was just talking about it and it just fell. Oh, there's it. There we go. 
Are you making your own Resident Evil game? Uh, we're not making a Resident Evil game. We are making a game inspired by Resident Evil, but it has its all original story, original characters. Um, you'll see some references to Resident Evil, but it, it's its own thing. It's called Vigil, Prophecy of the Bestowed. Currently working on it right now, Moonglint is actually developing it, and the Row team and a few other um, Row, extended Row team members are actually writing it. Resident Evil 2 Remake delayed a month. What? Don't say things like that, Marcus. You're gonna get everybody upset. <laughs> Unless it's true, then I'm gonna be upset. Rage. Rage on camera. Fucking crows. Tell everybody stop it and thank you guys. JJ2236 on the safe room next up. Thanks, dog. I'll never forget that one. That one I got memorized. Everything else, yeah, I'll probably forget. I mean, the email address has 2236 in it. Iconic, iconic uh, number there. Hell no. I hope uh, there will be fixed camera angles, settings for Resident Evil Remake. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool. Like, I'm a huge advocate of fixed camera angles. It's what I preferred. I, I'm, oh, you know, like I'm interested. I'm open-minded for this new over-the-shoulder. Open-minded, trying to stay positive. But I would love an option for it, even though, like I said in a previous video, with the way the game is balanced. Um, for over the shoulder it might make it very complicated for fixed but you know they're a triple a company they can make it work oh fuck right here that quick are you fucking kidding me holy shit oh. I see jj get wrecked should have got some other weapons fuck me hey andy Making my way downtown, walking fast because zombies on my ass. Didn't really go together, but it, it sounds good. It's good enough. Over the shoulder is better than me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they all got their perks. JJ, where can I download this mod? The mod I actually will include in the description after the live stream. Um, but you will need to download the emulator and ROM yourself. I think it's... Uh, uh, I don't know if it's illegal to give those out. I don't know. They're all over online. Just Google uh, GameCube or Dolphin Emulator and then Resident Evil 2. Rom, but the mod I'll have included. Oh fuck! <sighs> Mr. X. So we meet again. I won't be able to get around him either, will I? This widescreen hack kind of throws my boundaries off. Holy shit! Hey, dude. Oh fuck! He's quick. Oh fuck! He's quick. Oh fuck! He's quick. He's got some fast swings. He's not quick, but he's got some fast swings. I'll go this way. See ya. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Sharks Christ fixed camera over... Oh, no, don't fight in the comments now. We're here to... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ! Liquors already? <gasps> Thank God for the save room. I really forgot. Just fucking scenario B. Like, I really forgot it. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're here to appreciate Resident Evil 2. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it in the open like that. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the biggest mystery, where he finds those tacky things or where he's getting the money to pay for them. God damn it. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in uh, today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged fire sacrifice to the fire i was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the paint that's a good one eh why anyone would consider something like this or something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension well some of us like dark art <laughs> maybe that's a little too dark but i don't know when i was a kid i read the um oh god what were they called um scary stories to tell in the dark no that might not have been it but yeah it was no i don't know God damn it, what was that? But anyways, uh, Stephen Gamble was an artist. There was some very dark art, very dark, dark art on there that terrified me as a kid. But between that and Resident Evil 2 and my cousins listening to, like, uh, Rob Zombie and stuff, it got me into, like, yeah, I like, uh, you know, like, more uh, horror art. I don't know what people mean. 
hang and shit, that's a little excessive. <laughs> that's definitely not the same thing. But yeah, that Stephen Gale, that, that, I think that artwork's pretty, pretty freaking cool. Creepy. Should I take my knife and do a knife run only? Fuck yeah. Hey, JJ, I missed you. I missed you too, lady. Uh, Stuart Pricey's here. Piercey's here. Sorry, Stuart. <laughs> Scary stories to tell in the dark was exactly it. Was it? Okay, cool. Who else remembers that? Take the Ukraine. Damn right. I gotta hang out a little, a little longer in the save room because I love the save room theme. Save on three. Love the original stra uh, soundtracks to the, you know, the original games. Even the newer ones are okay, but the original games had such iconic uh, soundtracks, and this was my favorite out of all of them. It's, uh, the uh, safe haven, I think it's called. No, oh, secure place. Yeah, my bad. Uh, there were three books and a treasury with all three books in it. Oh, cool. I was actually going to order that. It's on my Amazon. I want that. They were pretty scary. I remember them being terrifying. Ooh. Alright, good. Why is it quiet? I hear zombies, but I don't see zombies. Uh, I remember reading the R.L. Stein Goosebumps book as a kid. Those were cool, too. I like those. I think the vampire one was my favorite. It was like a vampire living in the uh, uh, um, a locker. That was cool. I don't know. Holy shit. You guys are a little close. Back your shit up. Get right. But yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, some things are off a little bit with the widescreen hack, but it really cleans it up, and it's really cool seeing it like this. Um, it, yeah, like I said, it's give and take. More? All right, we're good. Oh, shit, I do got to get over there, though. I forgot that crest is over there. Holy shit, why'd you guys stop? Uh, that's why there's a horde. Uh, 235 people watching right now. That is incredible. Thank you guys all so much. It's weird that this is like when I'm up because I'm a weird night person. And I can get like that many people that are interested in Resident Evil 2 here to hang out with me. That's awesome, guys. Thank you. Ooh, where's that blood coming from? Oh, shit. Feed zombies. No. My demise. Get fucking wrecked. Squish. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Uh, my boy JJ. My boy Val. Uh, that sucks, Lemon. Oh, no. What did Lemon say? Let me read back here a minute. Lemon, 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 Lemon. I missed it. What's going on, Bruno? It's already stopping in, you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are all enjoying the stream tonight. Okay, here we go. I'll plug this in. So, uh, yeah, the Resident Evil 2 remake has a little bit of a different layout, but the same sort of setup. I don't know if you guys seen Resident Evil 1.5 concept art, but it's, it's very similar to that. Uh, much more like a realistic sort of, uh, well, gothic style uh, police department. There we go, we got a shotgun. Now we got some firepower. Try to take that ink ribbon too. Sure, why not? Fuck it. Can I do anything? I don't think so. Gotta get the key card. Perfect. Uh, always JJ, chill the stream with Resident Evil 2 is always a good way to start my day. Gets me through most of the morning. Have you played Resident Evil 7 yet? Through Resident Evil? Yes, I actually, I, uh, I actually played the Resident Evil 7 right before I started the Residence of Evil. Weird thing is, I beat the game. I enjoyed it. Um, I did enjoy Resident Evil 7. Uh, you know, it's not perfect and it had its flaws, but I did enjoy it. But as soon as I finished it, I was like, God damn, I really want to play Resident Evil 1 right now. But I want to stream it. And I can't do it on my channel because I do The Sims. <laughs> I, I like Resident Evil is my favorite series, but I play a lot of The Sims on my channel, so I can't do it there. So I was like, I'm just going to start a Resident Evil dedicated channel where I can talk about Resident Evil and play Resident Evil games. And so I started the row right after 7. Fun fact. Nobody asked for that. <laughs> Why did I say it? These are all electronically locked. Shit. I got to go. Which key did I get? Precinct key. Okay. And this one's electronically locked too. Alright. I got to go around. Upstairs. This is a... This feels a little more linear, this, this playthrough. 
Um, hey, JJ, I uh, downloaded H1Z1 Battle Royale for PS4. Any chance you'll get that? Uh, no, Kaiser, actually, that one I'm not really um, too much interested in. Uh, but we are getting our... Oh, shit, that's, that's not okay. We are getting our 7 Days to Die server back up for our patrons. Uh, we would open it to the public, but that would be crazy. There'd be people everywhere. <laughs> we uh, don't have that much space, but our patrons are going to have a 7 Days to Die server. Um, so I'll be playing a lot of that. And actually, like, I get addicted to that. It's not good for the channel. So smooth PC version? Yeah, actually, this is the GameCube version, but I'm playing with the Dolphin emulator on PC. Fuck, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. No, 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 no. Uh, fuck you, fucking guy. Shit. Do I have to go through? Can't remember if I have to go through there with the, the jewels and the titties. Oh, fuck this guy. Um, Hey, JJ, do you think we'll eventually get Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 4 remakes remastered? Uh, Well, Resident Evil 4 has <laughs> been remastered a million fucking times, but I really hope we get a Resident Evil 3 remake. Um... I mean, you have to. You did one, two. Why not have the entire original trilogy? You know what I mean? If if the Resident Evil Two remake sells well, I have I see no reason why they wouldn't. Two, two, three, six. Oh, that loading that clips what got that beat zombie on me. Load ahead of time, Leon. God damn it. Feed zombie. Ooh, he's looking around, waiting for some delicious toes to nibble on. The only problem is, once it nibbles on my toes, I die. Probably should drop some shit off. Oh well. Fuck you, guy. Feet! Hey, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Residence of Evil. Okay, one of these guys are gonna get back up and try to grab my toes. Here, make more ink ribbons. Good. Probably need those a lot this playthrough. I like that they got the shotgun back in the remake too. I just uh, only thing I'm worried about is uh, where's my man Kendo? I'm supposed to get the shotgun from Kendo. It's cool they got a locker room, but they better not get rid of Kendo. I don't think they did. I think uh, Kendo is gonna be sort of in Claire's side of the game. But, um, yeah, it, that, that dome splitter looked pretty uh, satisfying when, <laughs> when he shot that zombie in the head and the zombie just kept coming at him. I watched, like, all the playthroughs. Okay, good. Yeah, but that HG mod, like, it's just a nice little thing to have. Like, if you're playing, it looks good. But if I'm on caution, the liquors can decapitate me, so I have to be really careful. I don't want to use that yet either. And I don't think that's the key for that door down there. That's not, that's the uh, the heart key. Um, when will you do another podcast? Oh shit, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, we just did one tonight, actually. We, we recorded. We haven't announced it yet, but I'll let you guys all know since there's, you know, a lot of you guys here. Uh, we just recorded a interview slash podcast with the uh, director uh, and creator of Resident Evil Siren Song. Uh, so that'll be coming out. So we're kind of doing a, a few things for that. It's a Resident Evil fan film. Very well done. It's a huge, huge, like, fan service fan film for Resident Evil fans. So Resident Evil Siren Song, you guys really check that, like, seriously check that out. Uh, so many people were sad when Dave got shut down the short Resident Evil teaser that they were going to do. Like, this is this is the next thing now that that is happening. So we just did a podcast with uh, with him. He's a really cool guy. Gave us a lot of insight to the project. Didn't reveal too, too much. And just, you know, got us excited for it. So, Okay, here we go. Shotgun time. Blast and fools. Got to clear out of space. Shit. Turn around. Oh shit! My trick didn't work. Okay, good. I can use that now. Free up space. Wrecked. 
There's a lot more strategy inside B. That's awesome. Yeah, they really don't hold back. They throw them right at you. Shit. 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 He's gonna have to reload. No, 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 no. Leon. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, too slow. Fucking waste. God damn it. Matilda holds 18 rounds. Not bad, not bad. Feed zombie. I feel like I just had a battle. Holy shit. <gasps> Thank you for all the hearts, Carlos. Um, God damn, that was intense. I like that. Alright, gotta should I grab this other herb here. Maybe not. I don't really have space right now. I'm running low on ammo. Gotta start conserving. But when you got like 20 zombies around you, you can't really conserve. You gotta fight your way through. Gotta get my knife, damn it. Uh, hello, JJ. I would like to tell you I'm enjoying your streams. Uh, you're my favorite you, uh, re YouTuber. Much love from Mexico. Read me, please. I need your attention, my guy. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that, dude. That's awesome. Thanks for stopping in to the stream. Oh, empty. Fuck. Diamond. I gotta go the other way, don't I? No. Shit. Hmm. Breakthrough on this round, too? Maybe not. Oh, Mr. X, son of a bitch. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Dickhead. What the fuck? How'd I miss? Oh, there goes all my ammo and all my health and holy fuck. What the hell is even in here? Nothing? You're fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Really? Fuck, I guess I gotta learn the hard way, hey? Okay, well, that helps. It's something. Mr. X, please don't come through now. I think he does. Kill me. Oh, shit. At least I got my lighter. He's gonna come through here. Oh, fuck. I used that herb too, didn't I? Go ahead and take it. I'm in, a, I'm in a tough spot, guys. One. Oh. Got no space. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. He breaks through when you get into that other room. All right, good. Whew. What a rough ride. This is the best. It, it, it's, it's Resident Evil is the best when it makes you struggle. If it's not making you struggle, it's you're not getting the experience. Fuck you, guy. I'm gonna speed run it. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. See ya. I like how they got the fat cop beating on the vending machines in the remake demo. Alright, we're out. Thank God. Now we gotta go do other things. Who's the herd calling him that? Mr. X? I think he's called Mr. X in this game. Did they call him Trenchy too? Oh wait, no. They call him Leon calls him Trenchy, but I don't know. I'm not sure where Mr. X came from. I'm pretty sure it's in this. I need that goddamn card. And I need to go up to the save room. Oops. Oh, alright. Where's the bathroom? They shit on the floor, Elferma. Elf, Elf Omar. JJ, do you think Capcom should release Resident Evil 3 Remake as a DLC for Resident Evil 2 Remake? They could uh, reuse the assets. Uh, you know, I, I get this a lot, actually, and I absolutely don't think they should because they're both completely separate games with their own stories to tell, and they should not be combined together. They're, they like each have earned their own game, their own game with their own bonus modes, and I don't want them to combine it and dilute or take from each other's story. There should just be another Resident Evil 3 remake. Hey, Sasha Zombie with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Sasha. Really appreciate that. That helps out a lot. Thank you. That keeps me alive. <laughs> My stream boss isn't working. I don't know why. I have to get rid of it again. Ah, generous of the stranger. I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> For now. Just take these real quick. Oh shit. 
I'm excited for HD Carlos, Nikolai, and Jill. That'd be really cool. And look amazing. Good. Secure place, listen to, to some really good music here. Relax, chill. I don't think I need that small key yet, honestly. Okay. Hey, too much corn nuts with a $2 super chat. Yeah, you're right. The more games, the merrier. Hell yeah, thank you so much, Too Much Corn Nuts. Appreciate that, man. You guys are awesome. Uh... Alright. Do I want to save again? Nah, I don't really do anything. If I died, I'm not going to really lose too much. Screw it. But I should probably grab that shotgun shell. I feel like I might need it when I run into another liquor. Okay, I'm going to have to go into the... The jewel titty room. Which is the other way. Turn your ass around. And I'm gonna have to shoot those liquors. Son of a bitch. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Kettle gun shop. See ya, Precise. Precise is leaving. See ya, Precise. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Kendo, did you see the new little uh, sponsor badges you guys got? It goes by tier level. Get the fuck down have you no manners you little shit fuck I shoot too fast every fucking time split some domes fuck these rodents whoa shit you son of a bitch holy f fuck you got he, I got got holy shit I got got hard <laughs> all right let's try that again with some herbs and stuff Don't fuck around. They do not fuck around. Still get decapitated. Yellow caution. Fuck me, I'm probably better to just run around him. Honestly. Oh, there's another fucking <gasps> liquor in there. No, no, no. Fuck you guy. Woo! Oh god damn it. This game. Um see Drew! Have a good night, Drew! Sorry, missing everybody leaving. Day player's here. Shoot the liquors, you monster. <laughs> How's it going, day player? Yeah, these sponsor badges. Uh, he actually just made these for us, so they're all new. Great artist there. Thank you, day player. Fuck. Thanks. Here we go. What is it? A woman of relief. There's a hole about the size of <laughs> puncher in the tit. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck! Don't back up, Leon. I was gonna run around it. Oh, dodging liquors. I need a beer. Gotta get my skills up. Gotta get my reflexes going. Holy shit. That was close. I almost missed the door. Why do Steve in HD? Uh, liquors are so dangerous. Why do they jump? Yeah, why do they gotta do that? Why, who made them to do that? Come on. Alright, what else do I got? Uh, no, we're good. We're good. Gonna need more herbs, though. That man needs a beer. God damn right. Cheers, everybody. To everybody watching, hanging out, guys, thank you so much. Hope you're all having a good night, enjoying the stream. Playing my favorite game of all time, and I know it's a lot of your guys' favorite game as well. I guess uh, a good question for you guys is, what, what are you most excited for with the remake? Leon and Claire, the RPD, the Raccoon City Streets, the new areas, the William Birkin, Willie, my boy Willie B. What are you guys most excited for? I, th I mean, I would say all of it, but I would honestly have to say just the, you know, the Raccoon, uh, Raccoon Police Department, the environments, the new rooms. I, you know, the RPD is a character in and of itself. I can't wait to see the reimagined RPD. So there's so much, so much. I'm watching your broadcast from Japan. Hey, hey, awesome, man. Thank you for stopping in. Japan is, is like a, a, a passion trip for me. That's something I always wanted to go to is Japan. One day I will go to Japan. Checking up ID card. The new creatures. That'd be cool, yeah. I'm excited for that your mom will be in the DLC. They got DLC? Damn it. <laughs> I got, I got, I thought of a sick burn. I could burn myself, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. 
All right, let's uh, go this way. This way first. And then the library, maybe. Would you play Code Veronica? Damn right I would. Code Veronica is really good. It's hard, but good. That man needs to put his fucking shirt on. Getting me all flustered. Uh, nothing. I don't know why I came in here. I'm just gonna... There we go. That's pretty smart. Why am I even wasting ammo? Just do that. Oh, shit. It's their friend. Ah, shit, I ran right into him. Son of a bitch. Dumbass. I get it. I fucked up. <laughs> Dreamcast? Dreamcast. Yes. Sheriff, that's you. I was gonna I didn't know if I, I should say about the Dreamcast, but then I read your name and I was like, oh yeah, that's why you're saying Dreamcast. Yes. Super fucking excited for that man. Like uh when I read that, I literally I was just like, what? <laughs> it's like my my childhood all over again. I don't know if you want me to say it or not, so Sheriff Sheriff sending me a, a Dreamcast <laughs> so I could play Resident Evil on the Dreamcast again. Code Veronica. I have Code Veronica. I think. No, I don't. I do. I have Code Veronica. It's the only one I have. And it's old. Back when kids didn't take care of games. It's all scratched up. I'll probably get his work. Power Stone on Dreamcast was dope as fuck. I don't know if I heard of that one. Um, okay, I'm back. Was on lunch break. Lakota! What'd you eat for lunch? I need that. That's all that's in here. It's aid spray. Totally worth it. Totally fucking worth it. Hello, Keno... Keno Christ. Ooh, thank you, thank you. Back to fine. Power Stone was an isometric brawler. Uh, it was killer. I think actually, now you say that. I think I used to play the shit out of that. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of the names, but I played a lot of the games. I know I played the, sh the shit out of Crazy Taxi, Resident Evil Code Veronica, um, Shemnu, uh, what else? Dave Mira's BMX 2. What else did I play? Holy fuck! Alright, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting them to fall through this time. Whoa! Get a gun shot with a $5 super chat! JJ's mom, DLC, <laughs> Resident Evil ah, True. My, my, jo my joke was, she, she's too big, she won't fit in the DLC. Oh, thank you so much, Kendo. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for that $5 super chat. I only said the joke because because that was, yeah. Because of that very generous super chat. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent the disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of an... of arm... armaments? That's not a fucking word. And amun ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent, uh, where did I go? I totally blanked there. Due to a series of uh, recent unresolved incidents on the very day before the zombie attack. He made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Fortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate the ammunition caches. It has become out our top. It has become out top priority. Oh, I don't know if that's a mob that did that. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. Okay, I mean, I was trying to read these for you guys, but they're just telling me how to solve a puzzle. I already get. I'm sorry. Um, Black Tiger Paw, you know it. Who you talk? What are you guys talking about? There's that painting of somebody hanging. Night, Andy. Hey, oh, got a good night, JJ. Gonna go to sleep, finish your video tomorrow. All right, man, you have a good night. Hope to see you again soon. I gotta go put these in the titties. And go up and get that other one now. I gotta watch out for those. Damn, feet zombies are crawling around out there. Just wanna walk up and cr 
karate kick him all in the head. Soccer style. JJ was... Ooh. I know it's a word. I was just kidding because I, I don't know and I didn't pronounce it right. <laughs> Alright. Gotta focus. Save room's coming up. Is a word. JJ... Uh, oh. I was saying arrangements was a word. He said titties. <laughs> The, 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 you put the jewels in the titties. Everybody knows that. Why are you so awesome, residents of evil? No, you. <laughs> Thanks, Jose. Appreciate that, man. Hopefully I don't get fined. I, Ocean, I hope you don't get fined either. That sounds terrible. What did you do? I never read what, what you ate for break. Up, up, above. Sorry about that. I can't wait to see a Jill trailer. You mean a Claire trailer? I, that would be amazing. I really hope at Comic-Con we see a trailer. It hasn't been confirmed nor said that there will be a trailer. They only said there's going to be exclusive behind the scenes. Uh, a behind the scenes a look at Leon, Claire, and Raccoon City. I hope there's a trailer for Claire. She got really overlooked. Oh, shit, I didn't need that soon. I don't need that yet. I combine. No, I don't need that. I should probably keep that. Uh, hmm. There might be more liquors. I'm gonna keep that because I know I'm gonna need that up here. I'm just gonna take it. I need it. I don't wanna get beheaded. Gotta get the handgun bullets. Gotta look at the uh, weird perverted pictures. Take that. Hey, Sharif with another $5 super chat. Sharif says, Who you think that little girl in the Resident Evil 2 remake trailer is at 2446. Well, thank you for the tag there. I actually know exactly what you're talking about in the uh, podcast. If you guys look on the channel, the Rogue Podcast, Resident Evil 2 uh, remake, it's finally here. Thumbnail, it's a podcast where we actually discussed that. And we said we think it's Sherry sort of outside in a raincoat with the school bus. Maybe that's where she was left off. But we do think that's Sherry. Uh, the X presence with a ten dollars super chat. Thank you so much, you guys. Holy shit, you guys. Thank you. That's amazing. Hey, you guys. If you if you are um, donating, if you want to get something back in return for doing so, you can become a sponsor for five dollars a month, and that actually gets you the custom badge next to your name, and you get access to all the custom emojis we had created by Day Player. So if you just want to get you know something back for for supporting, I uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. The little girl, maybe a Sherry. That's what I was thinking. I, we were thinking Sherry. It's kind of what we all kind of agreed on. Fuck it. I'm going to save real quick. Just because why not? I know shit's going to hit the fan soon. Alright. Gotta love this game. Uh, meow, but I think it's Sherry. So you guys all kind of think it's Sherry too. Good. Nothing in here, I don't th uh, the no. Thought maybe there'd be rounds. Couldn't remember. Alright, oh there's another note for you guys who want to get more of the lore and the story. Oh shit. I'm trying to get that thing so people can people who are rewatching can read it. There we go. So these this is for those that are rewatching. Or those that are watching right now and you are well, you have to rewatch because I'm gonna go through it pretty quick, but people rewatching can pause it and read. Some really cool files in this game. They actually have one similar to the Itchy Tasty from Resident Evil 1. And it's where you get the, uh, I believe it's Eagle Medallion down in the lab. Dark stuff. Should probably go this way first. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Fuck it, I don't want to go in there anyways. Um, maybe it's a zombie child. Would it be... Yeah, see, it could be a zombie child. That would be fucking terrifying. But the thing is, I think that it might be illegal to do that. I don't think, like, even if it's a zombie, like, sh shooting kids might not be. I'm pretty sure that's a thing you can't do. That's a big no-no. What, what are you buying? Gotta check that out. New creature. Zombies. For days. Star's room. I don't get the star's key. Thought of something. 
Oh, cool. I don't need it. Good. Claire. The hell? This police station went to shit. Jill's beret, an electric guitar, because somebody likes shredding. Obviously, made in heaven. It's probably Chris's. Chris's diary. Now, this is what I'm going to read. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with any incriminating evidence since Umbrella, uh, since Umbrella employs so many people in town. Employs so many people in town. No one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I can't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Whew, you don't read people's diaries, Leon. That's a big no-no. Has SpongeBob taught you nothing? Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Like right here, uh, I, get, I say this every time I stream this, but right here you got the um, plant, uh, plant pesticide there. You have the emblem that you put over the fireplace. You have the book that you got, Resident Evil 1, so you have some evidence from Resident Evil 1 there. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go touch buttons. So, I don't know about the desk in Scenario B. Is that still a thing? Probably. But I checked it in Scenario A. So, if you want to see uh, Rebecca's picture, go back and check out Scenario A with Claire. Here's a picture of the Stars team. It's a really good picture. Pretty much all of them are dead. Depressing. Ooh, what do we got here? Hell yeah. Medallions, low badges. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Residence of Evil. Yeah, to everybody watching right now, thank you guys all so much. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Having a good time like I am. That's all that's important. We're having fun. There's a Back to the Future uh, Easter egg right there. The Dome Splitter. I said the shotgun was a dome splitter, but I take it back. It's the Desert Eagle, baby. 50 cal. Ready to rock. Shit, was that it? Alright. Okay, so. We got a dome splitter out of that and some ammo. That's uh, pretty good. Sad Leon's outfit is different. Yeah, I mean, it's much more realistic now in the remake. I think it looks really cool. Uh, I do love the original, though. There's, It's something very iconic about this. Oh, I was looking down. I was like, God damn it, it's another feet zombie. I knew it. I gotta stay away from those fucking squirrely bastards. They'll sneak up on you. Like, this one almost snuck up on me. You're lucky. You're lucky I'm on top of it. Dealt with one too many of you. You will no longer be my enemy. Or my nemesis. There's a lot of zombies in Scenario B, though. Holy shit. The liquors mostly come out at night, mostly. That's so terrifying. That's all of them. Alright, cool. Residents of Evil. I am the real resident uh, of Evil because I live in North Korea. Oh, no way. Cool, man. I mean... Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, wait. Got people from North Korea watching. Rose all over the world. That's amazing. Sherry, get your ass back here. You're making everything complicated for, for everybody. Oh, she dropped a key. I know you can't pass your big butt through that, Leon, but you need that key. Thank you. More ammo. Oh, shotgun ammo. Very important. Of course, a shotgun could hold seven rounds. Makes things a little inconvenient. Now I got... Uh. Leon. There you are, Claire. It's about goddamn time. Claire. You made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. It's but Billy. It's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. 
But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Hell yeah, Alex. I'm glad you caught a stream. I'm going to try to be quiet through the cutscenes because I get I get people yelling at me in the comments after my video. Yeah, I'm trying to watch the story. Just shut up. Yeah, you're right. You, you shut your goddamn mouth. I'll come kill your whole family. That's how mad people get. I'm just kidding. I don't think I had anybody that said that. <laughs> All right, see you, Claire. Thanks for, uh, I don't know. What did you do again? Holy crap, I hope not. Holy shit! Ah, Randomly entertaining with a $10 super chat. Whoa, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, it's a randomly entertaining, your friendly comedy provider here, having a bad morning. Oh no, humid out. Seat is wet and sweating like a pig. Can I get a shout out from my favorite Resident Evil streamer, my boy JJ? My boy Randomly Entertaining, dude, I hope your day gets better. You always gotta think that, uh, you know, even though it could be a little shitty, you know, it'll be over soon. You can, you know, get done with work and then just relax. Just just keep thinking about uh, your days off. But, um, yeah, so anyway, can I get a shout out? You didn't say you had to work, but I hope your day gets better, man. I hope, I hope uh, things turn around for you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Jesse Duo with a $10 super chat. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, thanks. You help my night shifts go by with these trips. Why are you guys being so nice to me? God damn. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad glad to help, man. I'm just... I, it's, it's like a dream come true having this channel and getting to play Resident Evil 2, my favorite game, with people who enjoy it. I'm, I'm glad that can help your guys' day. That's That really is awesome. And it's weird to think about. Because, <laughs> like, two years ago, I didn't have this channel. So that's cool, guys. Thank you, guys. And I know how those night shifts are. I work them. They're, uh, shit. <laughs> that's basically what they are. Ari for life. Thanks, Stuart. Leon, help! Alright, let's go solve this puzzle. Looks like everything went to shit out there worse than it already was. You guys, let's, uh... One thing I'm going to be making a video on here soon is about the new fortifying system in the Resident Evil 2 remake. And now you know in Resident Evil uh, 2, the original version here, I don't know why I'm checking, I know there's nothing in here. But uh, you see all those zombies breaking through. But in Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, you actually have to board the windows up yourself Welcome so you have to find scraps and board it up. There, thank you for subscribing. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool things you could do with that feature. Like bonus modes, board mode. So I'm going to make a video on it, talking about it, but just think about it. Up a system in Resident Evil 2 where you have to fortify. Then think about the possibilities for bonus mode. I think it's cool. Yeah. Not, oh. Oh, yeah. I was like, what, what the fuck? Move. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. This is my speed run. It's pretty good. Just kidding. Welcome. The Fuck, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Go the other way. Um, could easily be an Easter egg. Try. So Resident Evil Zombies mode? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't think they're going to do it, but... Could you imagine, like, the events leading up to Resident Evil 2? Like, I know they did it in Outbreak. But just let's think when the first outbreak hits, right? And all the cops are still alive. And you get to play as the cops with your friends. And your goal is to fortify the RPD and help survivors. So somebody has to go scavenge ammo and weapons. Somebody has to help the survivors. And somebody has to uh, board up the windows. Okay? That sounds fucking cool. And that's just a bonus mode. So the, the single player game is still going to remain single. The campaign will remain single player. So like, I really want to make a video about that. Because I really want to get in depth talk about it it's fucking cool um no i did not andrew i did not get the deluxe edition of resident evil 2 because i am waiting for the collector's edition and i know they'll be showing it off soon i don't know for sure but i hope they'll be showing it off soon and uh i'm gonna be getting that <laughs> definitely so to everybody watching i hope you guys are having a good time 
Uh, I appreciate you guys all being here. If you are enjoying it, please leave a like. That lets me know you guys like these live streams, and I'll definitely continue doing them. But yeah, the likes let me kind of know what you guys want to see, what games and stuff like that, and I appreciate it. More info to come at Comic Con. That's what I'm thinking, Stuart. All right, I gotta pay attention. So I got the spark plug. No more space, so there's no reason to go up there. Let's go back out here. Shoot. Oh, I can go put the jewels in. All right, let's go do that. Jewel time. I'm gonna have to get past that damn liquor again. I played this recently. Uh, hey, JJ, you should have waited to stream it till tomorrow. I have it off, and it'll be my payday. Uh, I love to drink Budweiser and watch your stream. Yeah, we'd get along, man. Uh, sorry I had to stream it tonight. Uh, it is my fiance's birthday, technically today, or, you know, tomorrow. Um, so I won't be out partying hard tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, we'll be back Thursday with a live stream of Resident Evil Outbreak. Uh, chapters 3 with the row team. So that'll be fun. And I got probably another video I'll put out this week. I gotta go put this shit away. I don't need room. No space! Bad speed run. Bad. Hey, thank you for all the purple hearts. Holy shit, randomly entertaining with the $2 super chat. Ah, thank you, randomly entertaining. You Again. Hashtag, we need job. a Resident Evil MMO. Also, I don't have days off. Oh, no. Well, days will get better. Just think about that. Things will get better. It'll cool down. You won't have swamp ass or whatever. No, I'm just kidding. You won't have a sweaty ass. <laughs> oh, fuck. We're fucking fuck. Uh, thank you so much, randomly entertaining, man. Resident Evil MMO sounds very interesting. And uh, I think I found something that uh, kind of itches that, that scratch, or scratches that itch. Um, I, I play a lot of Seven Days to Die. I get addicted to Seven Days to Die, but it really gives you that sort of. Fuck off. It scratches that sort of uh, large multiplayer survival uh, zombie crafting game. Survival Horror, I would definitely consider it. Seven Days to Die is amazing, you guys. One of the best games I've ever played. The most addicting games I've ever played. One of the most. Definitely in my top three. Dude! You don't got an arm anymore. Just give up! For fuck's sakes! Whoa! 326 people watching, guys. Thank you! That's, uh... No pressure or anything. No, none at all. <laughs> I don't need that yet. Uh, I don't need two dome splitters. We'll put one in here. Uh, shotgun's probably pretty important. I'll keep that. And my aids for him, definitely gonna need that. Mm, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Fucking run it. Need some more herbs, though. Because it's almost 420. I'm just kidding. Because I'm on caution. Where'd all those bodies go? Some of the, nobody's ever talked about the janitor in Resident Evil 2. Just coming by, just cleaning up bodies. Like, don't worry, I got this, dude. Coming out of little secret hiding spots. I can't wait to see all the new uh, additions to the, the RPD. One thing I was worried about was, like, sure, they're going to add a bunch of rooms to the RPD. Great. But if you don't make it in the same gothic style, who, who cares? Uh, but it looks like it's it's going to be really close to that same gothic style, the Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil 2. So I'm I'm pretty freaking pumped. Um, we can bake here in Northern Welcome Germany. Get them herbs. Heal up. Heal up, bro. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. I'm going to get rid of that stream boss real quick because it's not working. It's basically a little game you guys can play when I get new subs and stuff. It kills the health. And whoever kills the health gets their name displayed. It worked once. It was fucking cool. But it's not working now. Makes me sad. Get the hell out of here, stream boss. Uh, almost done. Just want to get rid of the blood hanging around on... Oh, shit. Don't do that. <gasps> Everything's gone to shit. I'm just kidding. It's all good. Seriously, though. Why is that so close? Good. Everything's still on, sorta? Here, let me fix that. Holy shit! I got another super chat! Let me just resize this up a little bit. There we go. I get really picky about my overlays. They gotta be right on. 
T King 677. Thank you so much, T King. Five dollars super chat. Hey man, how's the development of the Rogue game coming along? It's coming along pretty smoothly. I have to touch base again with uh with uh, Alvaro or Moonglint, I should say. Um, and kind of go over a lot of the new details we have worked out. Uh, so right now for the holidays, it's kind of slow, but everything's going smooth. Like we got a lot of stuff figured out and now, uh, it's just actually developing and all. It's, it's going to take a while. Ah, my my stranger. I wasn't paying attention. I got, uh, distracted. Go back and get the jewels. Go plug them in the titties. We got one. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Oh, see you, Kendo. JJ, don't get too cray. <laughs> Peace. All right, have a good night, uh, Supra, and uh, thanks for hanging out. And hope to see you again soon in a future stream. Whew. I think I'm working. Uh, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, like with the channel, I'm working on a video about the um, Resident Evil 2 remake uh, character models. I'm going to go through and kind of give my thoughts on them and go over the models for Leon and Claire and Marvin. And that's what I'm working on right now. And then after that, I'll be doing the Resident Evil 2 remake horde mode idea with the fortifying system. And like I said, we just got done with a podcast interview with the develop, uh, the director for uh, director and creator for Resident Evil Siren Song. It's a fan film, amazing fan film for Resident Evil. It takes place uh, between one and two. Uh, the trailer's out right now. You guys can watch it. And it's under uh, fan films. It's just under. But just type in Resident Evil Siren Song on YouTube. Looks fantastic. We just interviewed him, and that's going to be our next podcast coming out soon. So Busy, busy times here at the row. Hey, guys. I am sick, so the best part of my day is watching the stream. Oh, Francis. Francois. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but I hope you feel better, man. Francois. I don't need that key right now, but fuck it. Wish me luck, guys. Gotta go through that liquor-infested bullshit again. Not looking forward to it, and I have to pee really bad. In Argentina, that's fine. Oh, it's early. Argentina. Fans from all over. Fans from Resident Evil 2 all over. That's awesome. Save theme, the best. Definitely my favorite save theme is the Resident Evil 2 secure place and um i think my favorite soundtrack out of all of them too and i, I love like i said the new ones are okay like four is pretty good uh but one two and three have the, the best soundtracks in code veronica like even some of the uh random resident evil offshoot games like survivor dead aim their soundtracks aren't bad like they have some really good songs in it. and the resident evil 1.5 soundtrack was pretty pretty damn good too killed it and uh, I guess the um, composer for the original Resident Evil 2 is composing the music for <clears throat> the Resident Evil 2 remake. So it's going to be much more movie-like. Uh, it's going to be more of a score that builds over time with what's going on around you. Which, uh, you know, uh, that's just kind of how games are now. Um, but I'm really looking forward to hear what he has. Uh, I'm a little worried because I heard the demo and it was like really quiet. Uh, but I do have to say the attention to the audio ambiance is top notch you can hear almost every little thing you can hear a vending machine hum so ambiance is top notch i'm just hopefully the soundtrack's good at least with the deluxe edition they'll let you swap the soundtrack out jj no background hd mod no uh i should mention there there's none that i found yet for the background somebody said there was one but i haven't I looked yet um i couldn't i've looked before and i couldn't find any i started trying to clean them up myself and it was a lot of work but um this HD mod is actually just for the menus, the items, and the text. And the reason why it's in widescreen is the widescreen hack with the Dolphin emulator. And the models are in 4K. They're just upscale. Or not upscale, but just cleaned up with the Dolphin emulator. Fuck that guy. Oh, shit. There's one in here, too. Son of a bitch. I don't like the way he's running. Can't hear me. Can't hear me. They can't see. Their brains are too big. They're dumb. Yeah, it's hard mode. 
I don't fuck around. Just kidding. It's normal. Leon B. But it is a lot more difficult than, uh, than the first playthrough. I like it. I like the challenge here. And like I said, I haven't played B scenario in a very long time, so a lot of this is new to me. Forgot a lot of it. JJ, you playing RE0 HD on here? Uh, I do have that game. Um, I don't know. I'll eventually play it for sure, but that's probably not on my top list of ones I want to play. Okay, bye. I gotta get downstairs. Oh, I gotta go through Marvin's room. You can probably get through that door now. Or at least I got some spark plugs. Just gonna... Just to free up some space. Fuck you, guy. Woo! Aloha from the islands, JJ. Hawaiian soldier gaming. Uh, currently 10 p.m. and watching the stream. Was a little kid when I watched my dad and brother play this. The memories. Hey, man, I have a ton of memories, too. How's it going? Thank you for stopping in. Yeah, um, so many memories with this game. With uh, my older cousins and playing with my... Yeah, it was such a good game. So iconic and so memorable. <clears throat> That's cool. Watching from the islands, too. That's awesome. Um, what do you think about Wesker's son? Eh. I mind him. He's cocky. I really like the... Like, uh, I know Resident Evil 6 isn't very good. But the, the um, sort of characters and story building was pretty decent in it. And um, the moment that he finds out that uh, Chris killed his dad... Oh, that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, randomly entertaining with another $2 super chat. Holy shit, man. You are making it rain in the residence of evil tonight. You are keeping the lights on. Thank you so much. Uh, you ever going to continue Silent Hill 1 with Bob? Ah, holy Fuck. Generous yeah, I forgot strange. about that. I forgot all about it because I have like 10 different things i got to finish up. Fucking Marvin. Yeah, sorry about that, man. Damn, I forgot all about that. I still got to finish Stay Close too with Corey. Except he falls asleep on stream. The reason why we haven't finished Stay Close is because we both had issues with our computers and had to reboot them. Um, so if you notice, sometimes like when my computer and nothing comes out for a week, it's because my computer probably shit out or Windows 10 screwed something up. But uh, we had to reboot our computers and it deleted our save file. And that was a very lucky dodge. I mean skill. That was skill. <laughs> Sorry about that, babe. <laughs> You know he doesn't say that in the GameCube version because he didn't say that in this one. I was actually really disappointed. Yeah, not too pleased. Fuck it, fuck, fuck. Hmm. This one. Thank you. I knew I got. I brought. I came over here for a reason. There's no two rocks. Goddamn rat. <laughs> Reaper. I mean, Albert, not Alex. My bad. Oh, what do I think of Albert Wesker? He's cool. Ah, fuck! He's gonna jump. Whoa! That would have been my fucking head. That would have been my fucking head. Holy shit. I'm on caution. That would have decapitated me. Holy fuck, this is almost over. Oh, can't wait until I get my new job. It really make it train. <laughs> With all the spare cash I have. Nice, man. Where, where are you getting a job at? That's cool. Congrats. Oh, thank you for all the hearts, Reaper. Oh, I almost died. That was that was close. Woo. Yo, Pro Dodge. Thanks. Thank you. I tried that. <laughs> I think I just got lucky. Holy shit. $3 super chat from Hawaiian Soldier Gaming. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's awesome. What do I got here? Let me read. The, let me read what you said here. Thank you so much. Classic camera angle option or remake? Hoping. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, I was actually talking about that earlier. How, with the way it's balanced, it it would be complicated. But they're AAA developers, so I don't see why they couldn't make it work. I really hope for a classic fixed angle experience, even if it's broken like five. Five's uh, bonus mode, lost in nightmares. Just for, it's cool. Throw it in there. We'll make it work. All right, so I got some plugs, Welcome I got some keys. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Residence of Evil. I think I got the right key now for this way. Phone? Naked zombie. 
What did I tell you about your shirt? You're getting me flustered. See you. See, I gotta, I gotta use this chest real quick. Let me just, let me just dig through this while there's zombies lurking around. No biggie. Don't worry, it freezes time. Good deal. Come on. Come on. Come on, dipshit. <laughs> To the residents of evil strength. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the re oh fuck. Grab with this one. Sneaky sneaky. Oh shit, that was close. He almost got me again. Thank you for subscribing, guys. Welcome. Uh, to everybody that's new to the channel, I do a lot of live streams, news videos on Resident Evil 2 Remake, and other Resident Evil 2 stuff, discussion videos. We do a podcast. We actually do interviews with the voice actors. Uh, so yeah, definitely subscribe if you're a huge Resident Evil fan or just like some horror. Whoa! My man, Survival Horror Network. Love his content and his channel. Just came in with a $20 super chat. Holy shit, man. Thank you so much. Hi, Ro. Awesome stream. Currently at work and watching the stream. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, dude. I hope you're enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, thank you for the support. That's awesome. Glad, uh, glad you're watching. Been enjoying your, um... Fuck. <laughs> but enjoying your um, play through the Resident Evil games on your channel. That got ugly. That was a sticky situation. I got too flustered. All these dollar bills. <laughs> All right. I should probably. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Are these guys. Oh, damn. There's zombies everywhere. Like I said, they're not holding back in Scenario B, and I, I don't remember this many. Get Rex Scrub. Those are those, uh, those, uh, handsy zombies. They're grabbing at Claire in Scenario A. Holy shit! Brando, uh, Brandolonius with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, man. Hey, yo, JJ. No HD background mod yet. Also, you should check out my custom 1-6 scale RE figures uh, one of these days. Do you, got it, do you got it on your YouTube channel, man? I'll check it out. That sounds awesome. And no, unfortunately, no HD background mod I found yet. Uh, I tried doing it myself. Oh, shit. And it was uh, very time-consuming. But um, somebody said there was one out there. I'll have to look again, but I have not seen one yet. Oh, I was hoping to split them. Gotta get that satisfying squish. If I'm gonna use a shotgun shells, I might as well. Whew, this is a this is a tough run. I gotta get back to. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough ammo. Ah, let's let's give her. Let's. Give, I'm getting a lot of thumbs up and scared faces. I'm gonna give her. Useless key. Here we go, guys. I should make a new one showcasing them. Yeah, so you do have it. Uh, it was drop on the roll. Oh, it was on the oh, Discord. Okay, cool, man. Just uh, at me on there, and then I can I can see it. It's hard to keep up with everything, so I might overlook some things. Bombs. Film reel. Heck no, I don't want that. I can't blow up a door with that. Now, this is. Fuck, does that mean? <laughs> No? Why do I always remember the clay uh, for the C4 being in here? Like, am I crazy? I remember it being in this room. Reaper with the peace signs. Um. Damn. Okay. Well, useless. At least this room isn't infested. Here we go. Uh, Leon doesn't get the bombs, boy. Claire will radio you. Oh, okay. She's one who blows shit up. Squish. Don't got much ammo left. Gotta be very careful. Okay, I chose the right way, it looks like. Um. Yeah, good call, good call. Where are you at, Starvin' Marvin? Just kidding, he's in the... In the office, dead. There we go. Got some ammo. I needed that. Oh, 
think I can lead them around. They're gonna be coming up here quick. This new uh, remade room in the Resident Evil 2 remake demo looked fucking awesome. And I love that Leon's desk right there has a lock on it. Your first puzzle is to try to get into his desk. That's so cool. Shit, how did I do that? Just need the key. Need the key and need to get out. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna get bombarded here. Holy shit. Good, 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 good. Wrong way. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, I should unlock the front door. I'm gonna need that herb. <sighs> making mistakes, making mistakes. Holy shit. Another $20, $20 super chat from Survival Horror Network, SHN. Uh, thank you, dude. Oh my god. Uh, so what do you think uh, will be the collector's edition of Resident Evil 2 Remake will include? And sorry if this was already asked. No, not asked at all, man. Don't be sorry. Thank you. Um, I think we're going to get all the bonuses with the deluxe edition. I think we're actually going to get a actual um, something physical. We're going to get, like, with Resident Evil 7, we get the house. We're going to get something physical. Hopefully a couple physical things. Um, not what I, what I would want. It would be cool to get a replica of the RPD. Like we did with Resident Evil 7 with the house. It would be cool to get a replica. Um... What what items do would I want? Because there was one I wanted in particular. I think the stars room key. I want a stars room key. Um, but yeah, so I think there'll be physical items and a lot of digital items. Um, I'm getting it. <laughs> like I can't wait. Uh, so that's what I think. Uh, other than that, we'll we'll wait and see. Hopefully, we'll see it at uh, Comic Con. Uh, Charlie Robinson with a two dollars super chat. Farewell, Streamlabs. Loving the stream as always. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Oh, thank you for that super chat. Like I'm glad you're liking it. Uh, uh, Adam Scour with a $5 super chat. Hey, JJ, I'm just curious. Since a PC version is coming, what mods would you like to see? I think flying zombies would increase the scare factor. Oh, shit, yeah, man, that would be cool. Uh, what I would love to see, the first thing I would love to see, fixed cameraing. And not just fixed, like actually fixed to where the game's balanced around it. That would be what I would love to see. Uh, the second thing would be a, an explore first person mode because I would love to run through the RPD and you know like in VR or something and just get to look at it. Obviously, I don't want to play the whole game in VR. My preference is fixed camera angles. I'm optimistic about the third uh, over the shoulder, but uh, I would like a first person kind of look around. And then I would like uh, just new characters and and new game uh, new costumes. Um, I'm I'm interested to see. I know what they showed in the deluxe edition, but I'm interested to see what uh, costumes are actually going to have in the game. I hope you don't have to have the the uh, deluxe edition to get the bonus costumes. That would be kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, and a $6 super chat from Alec Funnel. Thank you so much. He was the other uh, one that went to the PayPal. Thank you for that, Alec. Thanks, guys. Holy shit. You guys don't... That's crazy. You don't have to do that. Thank you, though. That helps out a ton. All right, here we go. It's going to get a little complicated here. I'm going to use this. Because I put myself in a jam. Oh, and then I'm going to dodge. Oh, shit. I almost dodged. I almost dodged. I'm going to go this way, though, because I want to unlock this door. I got bit because of it. Wasted an herb, but... Fuck it. It was worth it to unlock that. Now I need to go all the way back to the other side. Oh, there's no save room coming up. I'm going to save quick, too. I think I need to save. I'm not going back through that way. I'm not going through that way. There's only one place I can save right now, and that's up the ladder. Because everything else is infested. God damn, I love this. It's so tense. Well, I could save there, but I don't got any ink ribbons. I think I took it. Uh, to everybody subscribing, thank you guys. Shotgun shells in the other room. What other room? Because I'm going to need those. I should probably go back and get those. If you tell me what other room, I'll go back and... I'll check for them. Were they in the room that had three zombies in it? The Marvin room? 7-Eleven was a part-time job. 7-Eleven. Gotta get our uh, ink ribbon. Gotta save. Gotta pee really bad. Been holding it for... Maybe that's why I'm, I'm screwing up. I gotta pee. You gotta go piss when you gotta piss. I'll just go in my pants and I'll keep playing. Gotta wear, wear your depends. I'm kidding. If I don't get up, then I'm not kidding. All right, guys, I'll let you listen to this iconic secure play save room theme. I'm going to go take this, and I'll be right back. Pee freely. Okay, I'm in my pants. All right, I'll be right back, guys.
are you generous of you, stranger? Perfect timing. To everybody sticking around, thank you guys very much. I am back. And my face is back. I missed you all. Oh, Kendall Gunshot with a $5 super chat. To everyone watching, who are you? What are you doing here? Thank you so much, Kendall, man. I appreciate that. Moderating and, and supporting the channel. Damn, damn, man. You're like a one-man army. Thank you. Okay. Thank JJ. I gotta go. Okay, I saved. I gotta put my ink ribbon away. And I got no ammo because I play like shit, I guess. <laughs> like I said, B is a, a big uh, difference from A scenario. Much more complicated than I remember. And like I said, I haven't played B in a long time. I should have used the key on that drawer. Well, I don't need it right now. Gotta grab the knife. The dome splitter, am I really gonna need it? No. Oh, uh, did you say where those shotgun shells were? The shotgun shells are in the locker room where Claire found the C4. Really? I mean, I'll go back. That's totally worth it. But welcome to the residence. I checked the lockers and I didn't. Stranger. I didn't get it. Do I need the little key for it? I remember checking them. I'll try. They're they're definitely necessary. I did pee, kinky. Uh, I really hope Kendo's in it. Oh god, Kendo better be in the Resident Evil 2 remake. That was like, I love the Resident Evil 2 remake trailer. And I love the second trailer that showed more of the gameplay. But after hours, I was like, I didn't see Kendo. I'm gonna let it go because it looked amazing. My mind is blown and I'm up on all sorts of hype. Um, natural cocaine, watching those trailers. But uh, Kendo better be in the fucking remake. <laughs> I'm gonna go give it a try, but... I don't really have the ammo to be going to give it a try. I'm gonna go this way first. Because I can't get through there without using a shotgun shell, and I know some shit's coming up. Like, I know that hall is infested. I may have to dome split some, and then I know there's liquors downstairs, and it's all sorts of fucky. Everything's against me right now. And the stupid heart key doesn't get me into that. Well, thank God it doesn't. Mr. X breaks through the gear room, but. No survival horror network. What did he say? Oh sh! The fucking what the fuck? God damn it! I killed all you guys. Really? Are you gonna do this to me? No way, Jose. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. That was. Oh my god. I cleared all these assholes out. Uh... JJ, that's the name of your new band, Dome Splitter. God damn right, I love it. Don't have a choice. Don't have a choice. God, it pisses me off. I'm trying to dodge as many as I can. I got herbs now. It's not gonna be easy. Oh, that one was. Ah, shit. Trying to juke him. Gotta shoot this one. Fuck. Oh, what? I gotta go downstairs, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Later, RJ. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Clearly, you didn't, JJ. What? What did I not do? Uh, dude, the trailers look so fucking good. I'm super hyped. 
God, such a waste. Such a waste. This is such a terrible run. It's only going to make him all the more interesting to watch, though, right? Am I right? Ho 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 What'd I get myself into? JJ's gonna die. Bye bruh. Shut up, Kendo! Ban yourself! <laughs> Just kidding. You clearly didn't clear out that room with the safe. Thought I did. I mean, they came back. I'm almost positive I did. I did. I did clear it out. They came back. They came back to fuck me. Cool. Dogs just came in. You're almost to, at a save room. I am almost there. Smooth dodge. Thanks. I tried that. Save room. Cause it is getting squirrely out there. Oh, my cat's here. I don't know if you'll be able to see him on camera. He's gonna get all up in my business. Probably roll around on my controller when I'm trying to play. You know, doing cat things. Uh, God, I'm gonna save it again. <laughs> I got almost all the spark plugs except for one. What? Am I still in caution? What the fuck? What a waste! That pisses me off. Hey, Nona, how's it going? To everybody watching right now, guys, thank you again. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you to all the new viewers. I hope you guys are having a good time tonight. I know I am. It's it's intense. It's more difficult than I remember, but that's why I love it. That's why we all love it. We love the struggle. We don't want them to hold our hands. And that's why Resident Evil Mortal Knight was such a good fan game. Alright, here we go. Let's go make shit happen, I guess. Or whatever. Carlos, nighttime. That's when I'm up, man. That's my time. My time to be up. Can I climb through it? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Come on, Leon. You can't fit through anything. Alright, let's go, uh. Let's go around the other side and meet Ada. Mysterious Ada. We're in a trench coat in the remake. That's cool. Really? I miss the sound of music. Of this music. Yeah, me too. That's what I was saying. Like, I know that the new one has a fantastic ambiance. Like, really top-notch ambiance. Uh, but I hope the soundtrack is there because it was really quiet in the demo. Resident Evil is the best. Damn right. Hey, JJ, where can I get the Resident Evil 2 HD mod? I'm actually going to link the mod down below in the description after I finish the live stream. Um, but the Dolphin emulator, you can look uh, get by going to Google and typing in Dolphin emulator to play it. And then the Resident Evil 2 remake. Or, I'm sorry, Resident Evil 2 GameCube ROM. Just had to check my health because I know I'm gonna get bit. Don't want to go in danger. Flying unconscious. This way. Don't reach to him. Ho 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 ho. Yeah, you're welcome, Dex. Explicit. What's up, Alex? Yeah. Probably the best looking, uh, like I said, just know that some of the textures, or not textures, but the items are going to be off. Other than that, it looks really fantastic. I think Rod Lima's might be the best looking until a remake, but that's not available to the public. Welcome to the residence of evil, stranger. Damn you. Son of a bitch. Up, up, down, up, up. Hello, Joe. Cheers from Germany. Cheers, AZ. Thanks for stopping in. Down. Up. Up, up, down, up. Up, up, down, down, up. Okay. Got it. Power supply is okay. Ready to rock. 
Mortal Knight, yes, it's a Resident Evil 2 fan game that takes place in a separate universe made by Resident Evil Nemesis, or, sorry, Res Evil Nemesis 30. Um, fantastic, fantastic Resident Evil uh, fan game. God, I hope I don't get hit. Just probably take my eat spray or nah. It's not worth it. Don't die over this stupid shit. I'm struggling. Yep, 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 yep. Holy fuck. <laughs> Damn it, what did you just shoot at, Leon? Whoa, look at that dodge! How did I even do that? I mean, skills. Didn't need to use that aid spray, but who knows, you know? Like, you don't know if you're gonna get lucky and get through. Good morning, JJ. Kick ass, brother, and have a great playthrough. Thank you, Christopher. You have a great goddamn morning, too, man. Whoa, who just shot my toes off? Who is this? Mysterious man, I mean lady. Sorry, your hair looked like mine. I'm talking about Leon. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? Those reporter types always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? All right, mysterious red lady. I'll give you a hand, but I don't trust you. You just try to shoot my feet off. Teamwork. That's when he fell in love. He knew they were such a great team. Remember when we moved that blue vehicle? <sighs> Heavily in love. See ya. I need this. <laughs> Desperately. I miss her IHOP. She will be in the maker. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, it is with me now. That's cool. It shows her picture there. I totally forgot I did that. So if she dies, I die. Just kidding. That's not how it works. Let's go, Ada. Don't hold me back, damn it. Better carry your weight. JJ, she was just trying to save you from the invisible feet zombies. <laughs> just mental a little bit. Ada, what? Ada, what the fuck? She's like, see you. Like Sherry. Everybody just runs in this game. Like, what is wrong with these people? Ben's over here. Oh, there's film there too. Maybe I'll grab the film and develop it. For those that don't know, that have not seen this playthrough and want to check out some of the more lore. Money. It's not 420 yet, but pretty soon. Heal up. I'm gonna do all my herbs at 420. Even if I'm on flying, damn it. I wanna get super fun. Ben! Wake Let up. Me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up. Now. Oh, what a Leon's gonna act like a dick right now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? Bye, Charlie. You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those ah, zombies aren't the only things must crawling be around. Generous of you, stranger. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. I like Ben's little rat Get tail. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But 
Do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. What is wrong with his face and neck? I don't want to ruin the cutscene, but uh, the Axe Presence. Thank you so much for that $10, or not $10, sorry, $2 super chat. Um, what would you do in a real life zombie apocalypse? Well, thank you, man. Uh, I thought about it before, and we have, um, my family has a ca uh, camp with a lot of land around it. It's all kind of like closed off in, in a section out the woods. I would probably, and we also have a, a family owned um, grocery store. I would hit that up first, grab what I needed, because I don't prep, which I get into those prepping shows, like people get extreme, but I get it. I mean, it's good to prep a little bit. Uh, I don't prep though, so I'd probably go to the grocery store, see what I can get, see what I can get, not be too crazy, leave some for other people, just take you know whatever my family needs, go to my parents' house, gather my guns, and then head out to camp, because we got it all set up so you can live without electricity and bullshit. That's what I would do. That's what I do. Um, what would you guys do? That's a really good question. I thought about it a lot. Ben, you're smart right now. Until you get raped by the G. That's gonna suck. The one thing I want to know is how the hell does G get in his cell? Does he break the bars or, you know... Let's take this film because I really do want to see what this is. I don't remember. Oh, gotta go that way. Down to the sewers. Progress, guys. G tentacle hentai. Basically, basically, you can make so much hentai off this game. <laughs> Him and Nemesis. Pooches. Don't give a fuck. I ain't messing around with that right now. Definitely not. Oh god, spiders, no! I hate spiders in real life. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but Resident Evil 1.5 had these enemies that were supposed to take the place of liquors. And granted, I love the liquors more. But, they were fucking terrifying. They were, um... Move your ass. Big fat ass. They were, uh, man spiders. Half man, half spiders. Their upper body was spider, and they had legs. The god, they were terrifying. I would like to see those in the Resident Evil 2 remake. With those graphics, that realistic environment. Oh god. Nightmares for days. My poison. Now we're good, it's all good. Thank you, Ruben. Alright, let's drop this off. Don't know if I wanna save just yet. But maybe I do, yeah, because I'm pretty sure this is when we switch. Hey, Hawaiian Soldier Gaming with another $2 super chat. Thank you, man. Uh, UBCS or RPD. Obviously, I gotta go RPD, man. Um, Resident Evil 2 is my favorite game of all time. I have this fascination with the the whole building itself and just the whole setup, the game. I've gotta ah, go with the RPD. My generous self, stranger. Uh, safe. Thank you, though. Thank you so much for that $2 super chat. Thank you all for all the support tonight. And like I said, you guys, if you're donating and you want to get something back in return, well, we do have a Patreon, which gets you a lot of behind the behind the scenes content that we usually do earlier, some bonus uh, let's plays with us and stuff. But you could become a sponsor of the live streams. It's five dollars a month. Since you're donating anyways, and you actually get all the custom emojis, the sponsor badge, and you help support the channel that way. So if you want to get some stuff in return, but uh, no, you don't have to do any of that. I just appreciate you guys being here and hanging out and watching. That's that's cool enough for me. <sighs> really, still need some ammo. Damn it, I need some ammo. Silent Hill rocks. God damn right, we gotta finish Silent Hill one. Me and Bob Spaghetti. He hasn't been over in a while. He's been busy. We've been on mandatory overtime at work, so he's been jumping on, uh, taking all the time he can get. We've just been busy. Been busy. That mandatory overtime really sucks. It's like, I got a maid. I work three twelves. I'm done, right? I got four days off. That's nice, right? But then I, 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 I work midnight, so I'm up late. So I run the Residents of Evil YouTube channel to kind of keep me busy, 
you know, I spend time with my family during the day and then at night. I need I need to keep busy. I need to do something. I can only play games so much until I get bored. So I work on videos. I do live streams. Um, you know, but still, during the day, I have all that off. It's nice. Four days, right? No, because I got mandatory overtime, and I have to go in in the middle of the week during the middle of the day from 3 to 7, and I wake up around 1, so that takes up my whole day. Then I come home, hang out with the family for a couple hours, and then go to sleep. It sucks. Then I got a secondary job, too that I usually do once every week or every other week. I didn't need to come in here yet. Gotta get rid of that mandatory overtime in that second job, not worth it. Gotta focus on the road, damn it. This is what I like doing though. Like This is my passion here, is making Resident Evil videos, doing live streams, hanging out with you guys, podcasts. It's my passion right here. There you are, Ada. Ada. Ada, wait. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. <laughs> Never forget Bob's spaghetti. There you are, Sherry. What's your second job, man? Maybe you can give that second job up once you get so many consistent patrons. Yeah, that would be amazing, but we're right now the Patreon funding. Drop this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Oh, that's a cool picture of Sherry and her family. Willie B. Uh, the Patreon funding actually I'm saving for the channel. Um, that's all gonna be going like goes towards like our artwork or things we need for like our game development or things we need for our channel you know stuff like that um you know I, the, the second job is kind of a family thing so i don't really mind doing it is she holding her gun sideways ada come on you know that is not efficient oh she's aiming sort of sideways a little weird a little weird probably should just shoot them she's so quick so speedy Um, Leon or Hunk? Leon. Leon's my favorite. I love Hunk. I love the mystery behind Hunk. A lot of people want all these Hunk games and stuff, and it's cool, but when you give them their full games with all the story and you tell them everything that's happening, you get rid of the mystery, and you get rid of the reason why people like these characters. Like Ada, like, it, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Separate Ways in Resident Evil 4? That's cool. That's really cool. But, the mystery makes you like her more. Same with Kendo. I love him. Uh, one of my favorite characters of all time, uh, Robert Kendo in Resident Evil 2. Like, just the hero. R.I.P. Never forget. Use all the hashtags. But, uh, one reason why people, like, I like him so much is because, like, he was a hero that died right away. And you're like, ah, oh, what could have been? But, uh, no, for real, though, I would love to see a lot more Robert Kendo in the Resident Evil 2 remake. I'd love to be able to save him. That would make my life. Honestly. <laughs> That'd make me so happy. Aw, there's Kendo Gunship coming in here. We even got a Kendo emoji. Tell me that ain't fucking cool. <laughs> oh shit! Duh, duh, what was I thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Just dropped the ball. Thinking about Kendo get me all get me all worked up and teary and I can't focus on the game. Get this water out of here. Ada is the best girl. Ada's cool. Uh, Claire Ada, I'm gonna have to go with Claire. Uh, I love Jill. Love Jill. It's my second favorite. But, you know, Resident Evil 2 boy here. You know, one of the, my first game that got me into the series. Uh, made me fall in love with the series. Um, so I'd have to go with the two main characters from Resident Evil 2. Even though I fucking love Chris. I fucking love Jill. Barry. Um, uh, I even love Forrest. Because of his badass mullet. But um, Leon and Claire take my number one spot. Always. What about you guys? Just say the first name of your favorite character in the chat. Jill, Chris, uh, Leon, Ada, Rebecca, Billy. My boy Billy. I'm from Russia. Nice. <laughs> we got viewers from Russia. That's awesome. How's it going, man? Thanks, John. Thanks for stopping in. Billy. For me, Jill. No one word. Leon. There you go. 
I can read it easier if I see one word. Leon for life. Leon. Getting a lot of Leons. Rebecca. Okay, we got Billy. Leon. Rebecca. Brother Marvin. <laughs> Marvin's awesome. Uh, Leon for sure. I am from Ireland. Oh, that's cool, man. Thank you. Uh, Margaret. Not man. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, Margaret. Kind of like uh, Metro did with Falcons. Mikhail. Doesn't have three. Got the key. I did the thing. Success. Uh, Parker. Maggie, dude. What about Yoko, guys? All those slots. No, oh, bye. Goodbye. See you, bye. Oh, this isn't where I throw it, eh? Shit. Oh, well. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Do that a couple times. Now I'm gonna try it. Nope. That's for Sherry. Oh, the, no, wait. What part was that? Uh, I'm in Madison, Wisconsin, where I hate the 9 p.m. no alcohol state law. That sucks, Lakota. I'm actually not far from there. I'm uh, right, like, literally, Wisconsin is is less than 30 seconds away. <laughs> right at the top. I was born in Niagara, Wisconsin. Whoa. Why don't you guys fucking die? Jesus. They don't die. Oh, that feet zombie. He wanted my toes. One of my fucking toes. Uh, any Alice fans out there? Sorry, Valeria. I'm not going to be rude like a lot of people will be and tell you the movies are shit because I don't think they're Leon, garbage. I'm just not a big fan. Uh, I had fun with them. Ada. I had fun in the, like a uh, turn your brain off thing? corny, just get some popcorn. I, right here. I remember the first Resident Evil 1 uh, Resident Evil movie. Like, fast. Here's one more. ever since I seen the George Romero trailers for Resident Evil 2 hey, online. I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll okay, catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Ada, wait. There's Claire. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. Cheers, everybody. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, I remember like when I first seen the Resident Evil 2 uh, trailer by George Romero on online back in dial-up days. I was just like fascinated and I didn't know what it was because the internet was shit back then when I was a kid and it was hard to look up. But I was like, oh, there's got to be a movie, there's got to be a movie. And I searched and searched and searched and I couldn't find a movie. I, I didn't know what it was, I didn't know it was a trailer. And when they announced the Resident Evil 2 movie, like, my young kid mind, boom. Like, I was I one of the most excited times of my life. And I remember I went and seen it and I enjoyed it as a kid. And then I was a kid for the second one and I enjoyed it. And then as I got older, I was like, uh, oh, ooh. But I still went to see them because, you know, that was just like a, it was an event for me. And, um, you know, they were, they were their own thing. Like, I separated them from the Resident Evil universe and I enjoyed them for what they are. That's just kind of my take on the movies. I, honestly, I don't, I get the hate. I just don't have the same hate. But I do wish they could have been better. Um, and I'm looking forward to the reboot. Definitely. And I'm looking forward to Resident Evil Siren Song. The fan, fan film. Let's combine that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Progress, baby. Ah! The CG movies I do like. Um, I think they're also ah! a little over the top silly. Especially this third one. But I, I enjoy them that they're closer. Uh, they're tied in with the actual games. And they're closer to the universe. Um, also like Leon, even though he's like the poster child for him. I think they should have some more, but, um, third one, third one was a little way too over the top, but I think the second of the CGI films are, is my favorite, the second one. Because it was its own original story, but it included cool things like Lickers and Mr. X, and had a really interesting story, and I, I, I like that one a lot. But yeah, CGI films are far better than the live action movies. Bloody spiders. Barry. Look out! It's a monster! And the fuck you guy? Oh my god, he was like touching me. 
Gotta do S's. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. Holy shit. I, was, I almost got, got there. I was stuck on the wall and that could have been bad. Whew. It's getting hairy. Did I not get this yet? I'm trying to think of where that card is. Oh, is it uh, upstairs? It could be upstairs. Man, spider. Oh, Kendall, were you talking about earlier your YouTube channel? How you have those uh, cool videos about Resident Evil 1.5? Yeah, that that you have one with the no head. I can't believe you record that stuff off your phone. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. Holy shit, he was just going for a chomp and I got in. Ooh, a clover. People are awesome. You're awesome, Quan. Card is in the morgue. I'm in the morgue. What the? Shit, two of them. You want some of this? Hot fire? Fucking, I can't shoot right away because I waste a shell. Fucking, oh, you guys are the worst. Give me that. What is that? Oh, it's just part of the thing. Thank you. Because I know there's ammo over there. Hey, uh, Shadow Redfield, thank you for following me on Twitter. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, if you guys want to follow up, keep up to date on what's going on with the residents of Ely, you can check out the Twitter or the Facebook. Links are below. Also, you can join our Discord. It's free and open to the public. We have a bunch of really cool rooms showing off artwork, Resident Evil discussions. Um, there's a ton of rooms. It's free. Come hang out. Uh, lots of Resident Evil fans there. Lots of cool people to meet. Make some friends. Do do a thing. Be social. Uh, oof, yep, I'm here. Santiago's here! What's up, Santiago? Santiago's got a silver. Santiago's a silver member. And, uh, Kendo, you're gold. Uh, Santiago, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping in. If you're wondering what the little icons are next to your name, we did get, uh, different tier, uh, tier levels for, uh, the sponsors. So now you actually get, uh, one that represents how long you're a sponsor. We got bronze, silver, gold. Um, I think it's, uh, bronze, silver, gold, platinum. And then diamond. Hey, Heidi Lokil, Lokil, Lukil. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Heidi, Heidi Lukil, uh, with the five dollars super chat. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, dude. That's awesome. Ah, mighty what generous. A generous of a stranger. Good ammo. That was. Oh, there's a. I need it so bad. Need that. Welcome to the residence of the What's that? Give me that side pack. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that machine gun. Damn it, I didn't try to go in here again. I know I can't. I'm trying to check this locker. You bet your ass I'm coming back for it because I already beat uh, part one and I can't believe I didn't grab either of those. What the f was I thinking? All right. There we go. We got some space. But that, that takes up two spaces, doesn't it? Hey, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Grab the side pack. Paul, why the side pack? All right. Talk me into it, Paul. I'll wait. I have time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Daisy, I'm actually playing this with the Dolphin emulator. It's basically the GameCube emulator for PC. It's called the Dolphin emulator. And uh, I have the Resident Evil 2 ROM. I do have the actual copy here. If anybody's like, oh, that's, you're just stealing it. No, I, I got the GameCube version here. But it cleans it up when you're on, you know, playing on PC. It cleans it up and it makes it easier to stream. Grab both. I can grab both, can't I? Can I? I don't know. It gives you two more spots. Grab both. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Because I didn't take... I was going to say, it wouldn't make sense that I couldn't grab both. Because I must have missed it in my... 
my last playthrough, which only makes this playthrough much easier because the first playthrough of Resident Evil 2 is like compared to when I was a kid, like I remember it being more difficult. It's way easier, but the side the B scenario tougher than I remember, definitely. Alright, we're good. We're, to the residents of we're ready to rock, guys. Strange. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm trying to find the Discord. It, it should be one of the first links under in the description. Um, if not, uh, Kendo, could you get a, a link to the Discord by chance? If not, I'll get one for you. Alright, trying to go, get the hell out of here. Let's get my pistol out. I don't need to be packing a dome splitter when I got pistol ammo. I gotta, I gotta conserve. I was getting a little too uh, frugal with my ammo earlier. Hey, R.I.P. How's it going? Liquors are better than anything. Liquors are like one of my favorite enemies. They're so terrifying. Shit, son of a bitch! God damn it. I just gotta get some some distance here. God. Watch out for those feed zombies, guys. They're the worst. They sneak up on you. They're just looking around for toes to nibble on. No, oh, son of a bitch! He cut. What, what the fucking worst timing ever? Oh, fucking the death of me. They put me on danger. The only thing in this whole fucking playthrough to put me on danger. Okay, the one thing I've been talking about all goddamn night, the feed zombies. What did I say? Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Kendo. Lord, give me strength. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Is it safe? It's safe. Cleared this room out. Now we have no ammo again. Oh well. Matt, Matt wishes I would stop talking, but I mean I'm live streaming. I'm live streaming a game where I'm giving my impressions and, and conversing with the audience. So if you don't want me to talk, I'll be quiet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the stream for you. Charlie Clark with a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Charlie. Hey, JJ, big fan of the row, first time messenger. Uh, will definitely be signing up to be a patron. Watch out for those feed zombies. So thank you so much, man. Hey, thank you so much for that $5 super chat. Thank you for the support. And thank you for even considering to become a patron, man. I appreciate that a lot. That's awesome. And I'm glad you got to catch a stream. Or first time messaging. That's cool. What? Nothing. Nothing to see here. You can get in these in the uh, Resident Evil outbreak. You gonna chew on my toes? No, I don't think so. You don't want none of this. Pull my desert eagle. Alright, let's watch it. Watchman's Diary. Alright, let's read it, I mean. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages. But it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only well one done. thing I still to don't understand. Evil, uh, the chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was uh, access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyways? Uh, September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seemed to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces Welcome on them the for the, of one of the doors stranger. in the disposal yard. Very cool. Um, we made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder Welcome how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me stranger. about him is the way he, that he's always scratching himself. Like his balls. <laughs> Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? Oh, yeah, yeah. September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagined that could match his skill in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. Maybe he had one too many herbs. 
September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but he had to cancel. Be, he had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like The Walking Dead. Ooh, they called it. They called it. He insisted that he was just fine, uh, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. That's cool. It's always cool to read some of these. Dialogue. I would read them all, like the first time playing, but it's cool to read, kind of get a little history. Um, and I'm sure that's a Watchmen right there. The history of the series. You can kind of hear Chief Irons is a huge dick and doesn't want people looking around. Hey, War Horrors TV with a $2 super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for what you do. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that so much. All right, let's get the hell out of here. There was just a clip in here, eh? Yeah, that's it. Nothing useful. What about that rotten milk? Um, a bit. Ah, my generous self, stranger. All right, now it's time to. Oh, I know where I gotta go, and I'm not looking forward to it. Not at all. Not one bit. Not even a little bit. Mr. X. I'm coming for you. I got enough firepower, but I'm not gonna even try to shoot him. I just wanna get around him, but I'm gonna make sure I got health first. I ain't gonna fuck with him if I don't have health. <sighs> don't have health. Don't have health. But, it's very far away to get health. I guess better to be safe than sorry, but it's a little out of the way. Kendo has become a legend in Resident Evil 2 Remake now. Yes, uh, we need to see him. I'm hoping with Comic-Con we get a Claire trailer and that uh, Kendo will actually be in it. Like, that's what I'm really hoping for, and I doubt it, but god damn, it would be fantastic. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get some health just because I want to be safe. I don't have a ton of firepower, but you can have all the firepower in the world. If you get caught in a bad situation when you're cornered and you get hit too many times, whoa, shit, oh, shit, uh, you can die, you know? Like, that happens in this game a lot. I've gotten fucked by being in bad spots before. That's the, the beauty of this game. You never got a chance to beat Resident Evil 2? Oh, no, War Horse. Oh, man, well... Hopefully you can either play it or watch through my stream. Don't need that yet. I'm gonna need that, just in case. Oh, do I need all that? Yeah, I guess I do need all this because I don't really have much ammo for anything else. I got one round for my pistol, it's pathetic. All right, we're good. Oh, yeah. That makes more sense, hey? You only got one round for the pistol. Might as well grab. It's pretty good for, for zombie killing. I gotta, I'm gonna go this way because I don't want to run by that liquor again. Sometimes to be safe, it's smart to go the long way. Uh, I call Mr. X the tyrant. It makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, stars. Paul agreed, uh, just run around, mister. That's what I'm going to try to do, but I, like I said, I want to be safe. Make sure I have the health just in case. Oh, God. Those liquors. Put some damn clothes on. I don't want to see your ass crack when I come through the door. Or I can just scoop the booty in VR, like I did with uh, Crying Hordes build. Oh, God, that was so amazing. I want to play that again. Just, just experience it. Maybe I'll live stream it. I don't know. It was kind of like a one and done video, but but it would be cool to jump back in that. The liquor's gonna get your ass if you're not careful. Yes, they will. They're very squirrely uh, and difficult. No more feet, zombie. That guy got up. That one that was looking around for toes. Oh, time. He didn't get up at all. I don't think in the first yeah, the first time you're playing through. Uh, why Mr. X need to wear a fedora? <laughs> I don't know. It's so goofy. Uh, some people are so mad about it. And I'm not mad. I'm not at all. I just think it's goofy. Like, I kind of like it and I kind of don't. But I'm not mad about it. It's interesting, I guess. But it makes sense with the trench. They're going with a new R look. 
I don't know from the trailer you got that they have some old style cars in the city. Um, and they like to put like people in trench coats next to those cars, like Ada in the sewers. Or um, Mr. Rex with the fedora and the trench coat. It's cool. I like I like the noir style. Uh, I'm not opposed to the hat, but it is silly. It is silly. <laughs> he's wearing he's wearing a goddamn trilby. Get it right. Yeah, it, it is in a fedora, but a lot of people say that. I say that too all the time. I gotta. I don't remember what it is. I gotta read it. Like the Queen, King, and Jack. So 12, 13, 11. I like cards. I like blackjack, damn it. Oh my god, I knew it was coming. Run around him, dickhead. Fuck. I knew it was coming too. You can see me getting prepared. Woo. Fuck that shit. I gotta clean up my language. Frick that crap. I know he's coming through again. What am I on? Caution? See? Good thing I brought the health. Heart attacks for days. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to be able to get around him. I thought it was going to be one of those shitty situations. 380 people just watched me shit my pants. <laughs> Thank you guys all for stopping in. Hope you're all having a good night. Hope you enjoy the stream. God damn, Mr. X. Where's his fedora? <laughs> okay, um. Good. Upstairs we go. Why is there an imaginary wall there? That I don't like. Hey, $2 super chat from Grizzly Vapor 22 Thank you so much. Pump for Comic-Con. Big reveals, hopefully. Yeah, same here. Like I, like I said, I really hope there's a Claire trailer uh, where we get to see Robert Kendo. And I hope she gets some spotlight that she is well-deserved. And I hope that they reveal the Collector's Edition. Uh, if I had to pick, though, what I really want to see over anything, it's probably the Collector's Edition. That's what I want to see the most. Oh, yeah. Really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm definitely going to be picking that up right away. Oh, wow, he's forgetting about that liquor. He can take my head off, too, right now if he really wanted to. Welcome to the residence of evil. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> I got to go all the way back, but I want to save. Like, it's important that I save right now. To everybody stopping in, thank you guys very much. Cool, we almost got everything. Take this real quick, just again. I'm still in caution. What the? I hate that. When you take an urban, you're still in caution. What kind of bullshit is that? I can hear my boy. You hear your boy? Who's your boy, Santiago? Alright guys, I'm gonna call it here. Um, I've been playing for over two hours and it is now almost five in the morning. I have to go to bed because I have my fiance's birthday in the morning to celebrate, so I gotta try to get up early. But uh, I wanna thank you guys all so much for hanging out tonight. It has been an absolute blast. Um, to everybody who subscribed, thank you very much. To everybody who has super chat donating tonight, you guys, fucking amazing thank you guys so much uh it helps out a ton and I, I i appreciate it more than i can describe so thank you guys all so much um yeah like i said we have a podcast coming out with the creator of resident evil siren song a resident evil fan film look forward to that probably in the coming weeks i'm going to be continuing resident evil 2 uh leon b part 2 Welcome next week and then resident this thursday evil this thursday Strange we're going to be playing resident evil outbreak the first outbreak with the row team we're gonna be playing chapter three so this thursday probably starting around 11 p.m uh, central time uh, i also got a few videos i'm working on right now like i said i got the um face actors video coming out and then the resident evil uh, fortifying system video so 
lots of cool shit, guys. Lots of cool shit. I hope you guys all had a good time. Uh, thank you very much, and make sure to follow on Facebook, uh, Twitter, to be updated on what's going on with the Residence of Evil, and check out our Discord. It's free. Everybody can join. Come hang out. We got a bunch of rooms. We got art rooms, bathrooms, Resident Evil discussion rooms. It's all free. It's down in the chat. Or, I mean, it's down in the description. Check it out. Come join. Hang out. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you so much. See you again soon.